brushing, shampooing, conditioning, hair and scalp treatment procedures to pass the written exam for state board license for cosmetologists and barbers. Brushing the hair removes the tangles, stimulates blood circulation, adds shine, helps remove dirt and dust off the hair, adds luster to the hair. Brush uses natural bristle brushes, clean and add shine to the hair. Nylon bristle brushes style, smooth and shine the hair. Do not brush the hair if the scalp has cuts, abrasions or diseases before chemical services, it will irritate the scalp. When the hair is wet, it will pull and break the hair. Use a large tooth comb instead. Brushing procedure. Divide the hair into two parts. Take half inch subsections. Hold the hair and brush with bristles close to the scalp. Rotate the brush from scalp to ends of the hair. Keep brushing the subsections until the whole hair has been brushed. Shampooing is cleansing the scalp with the use of soap and detergent by massaging and manipulating the scalp and rinsing it with water. Shampoo selection depends on hair type, oily, dry, chemically treated, hair condition, sun exposure, chemically processed, damaged hair, home maintenance, hair damaged from the inappropriate products used at home that might compromise the quality of the service provided in the salon. Shampoo types Balancing for oily hair and scalp. Acid balance for dry and damaged hair with a pH range from 4.5 to 7.0. Contains citric, lactic or phosphoric acid. Medicated for dandruff and scalp conditions. Conditioning. Moisturizing shampoo to avoid damage to chemically treated hair and add shine and manageability to the hair. Clarifying. Used to remove soap scum and product buildup like too much hairspray in a hair may contain cider vinegar and is acidic in nature. Color enhancing shampoo is shampoo and hair dye combined to brighten color, refreshing red colored hair, or removing unwanted tones like purple shampoos that balance the yellow tones from the highlight, or highlighting shampoo that gradually lighten the hair as it is being washed might contain peroxide or highlighting shampoo tint that shampoo highlight and add a tone while shampooing the hair. Powder dry shampoo used for clients unable to get a regular shampoo. It is in the form of a powder in a salt shaker bottle that is applied to the client's hair. The lipophilic dirt attracting molecule attaches itself to oil, dust and dirt on the hair like a magnet and removes them as it is brushed or combed through the hair. For wigs and hair pieces, special solution designed to clean the hair enhancements. Shampoo chemistry. Shampoo molecule is made of two parts, hydrophilic, the head, which is water loving, and lipophilic, the tail, which is oil loving. Lipophilic part attaches itself to the dirt. Then, Hydrophilic part is attached to the water that rinses the hair taking the oil loving part, lipophilic part with it. Shampoo procedure. Wash hands with soap and water. Set up the sanitary maintenance area. Wash hands again. Drape the client with a towel and a shampoo cape. Extend the cape over the back of a shampoo chair. Section the hair into four and gently brush the hair to remove tangles off the hair. Before shampooing, check the water temperature. Cup the client's ears and protect the forehead while wetting the hair. First spread the shampoo in your hands before applying it to the client's hair. Massage the shampoo into the client's hair and manipulate the hair and scalp to remove oil and dirt. Rinse the hair. Condition the hair if necessary. Rinse the hair again. Towel dry the hair. Gently comb and style if necessary. Conditioning. Helps to smooth the hair cuticle, helps detangle the hair, adds protein to the hair, moisturizes the hair, restores the hair strength, adds body to the hair. Types of conditioners. Rinse out. Cream rinses are finishing rinses that are applied and worked through the hair after the shampoo and are rinsed out afterwards. Instant conditioner could remain on hair for 1-5 to five minutes. They contain humectants that will improve the appearance of dry and brittle hair. Treatments or repair deep penetrating conditioners 
like moisturizers, are left on the hair for 10-20 minutes to restore protein and moisture. Cover the hair with plastic cap and use a hood dryer to accelerate penetration. Protein conditioners add body to the hair, improve hair strength and temporarily close the split ends, improving appearance, equalizing porosity and increasing elasticity. Hair masks are deep conditioning treatments, also called conditioning packs, penetrate deeper into the cuticle, supplying the hair with enough moisture to make it manageable after chemical treatments and overuse of hot tools, flat irons, blow dryers and curling irons. Leave-in conditioners stay on the hair to continuously help condition the hair. They are not rinsed out. Good for holding a style on the hair for a smooth finish. Conditioner ingredients. Emollients reduce frizz. Proteins feed and strengthen the hair by penetrating into the cortex. Synthetic polymers add volume to the hair. Silicon and humectants bind the moisture to the hair. Conditioner procedures. For instant conditioner, Apply after the shampoo, leave on hair for 1-5 to five minutes and rinse. For packs and masks, apply after shampooing, place a plastic cap and set the client under the dryer for 10-20 to 20 minutes. For leave-in conditioner, apply after shampooing, do not rinse, leave in the hair. Scalp treatments. For dry scalp, use a cream-based treatment to soften and moisturize the scalp and relieve from dandruff and dry flakes. Procedure. Wash hands. Set up sanitary maintenance area. Drape the client with a towel and a cape. Use a hairbrush to perform scientific brushing to loosen the dry flakes and stimulate the scalp. Apply the cream-based treatment, cover with plastic cap, and sit the client under the dryer for 10 to 20 minutes. Remove the cap. Rinse the hair and towel dry. Style if desired. Scalp treatment for oily scalp. Wash hands, set up sanitary maintenance area. Drape the client with towel and cape. Use a hairbrush to perform scientific brushing to stimulate the scalp. Apply a scalp astringent lotion to remove the extra oil of the scalp. Style if desired. Safety precautions. Analyze the scalp in order to choose the correct treatment for the client. Always check the temperature of water before rinsing the hair at the shampoo bowl. Extend the cape over the back of the shampoo chair to avoid wetting the client's back. Always drape the client for hair and scalp procedures. Check the air temperature for the hood dryer before applying the heat to the client's hair and scalp. Avoid getting products into the client's eyes. Do not brush the client's hair and avoid doing any procedures if the scalp has cuts, abrasions and diseases.